We'd finally made it home to Paris, only to find a place we hardly recognized. It was obvious Le Paradox was now in control, since his face covered the city like a bad rash. The only positive was that Bentley was able to dig up a lot of dirt, including the fact that Le Paradox was from a family of thieves himself. And then we made a major discovery. I knew that my dad's heist of the world's largest diamond had made him a legendary thief, but what I never knew was that Le Paradox's father had planned to steal it first and frame my dad for the crime. Only he was a little too slow and got himself caught instead. With his father gone, Le Paradox had no one to teach him the family business, and after a string of failed jobs, he wound up in prison too. It was here, ironically, that he finally got his criminal education. After his release, Le Paradox maintained the appearance of a law-abiding citizen. In reality, he used his prison contacts to form his own syndicate and began masterminding heists worldwide. These days, he traveled the globe as a billionaire art collector, while his real business was the trafficking of priceless stolen treasures. Clearly, he blamed the Coopers for his family's past misfortunes, and his plan was to wipe us out completely. I had to find a way to stop it, but first, I had to rescue Carmelita.